It's not about labels because labels just box you uh, in. They, they never let you be authentically you because you have a label. It's, 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 we take the label off, down the boxes away, and you get to be authentically what God made you and created you to be. Yeah. Labels are a construct. Yes. And, you know, this is one of the things I've, that kind of struck me one day. I thought, you know, if you, if you own anything, then you have to secure it. Mm -hmm. yes. You're liable for it. So yes. you need liability insurance. Whatever you own uh, will take from you more than you intended when you decided to own it. Right. Uh, you own it. Okay. That's fine. Now what will you do with it? Right. Well, I'll do such and such, and I'm, I'm glad to be able to do this. What if someone takes it? Oh, I could never. Like, well, right. You mean to tell me if somebody stole your iPad, you would just smile about it? I didn't say I'd smile about it, but I would say, well, apparently it was no longer mine to use. And if another one comes in my life, either that or I tell my device too much. And, right, right. And, and if you're left to your own devices, you'll use them. So, you know, yes. but, uh, <laughs> um, labels are. For liability's sake, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I like I say it this way. In a world where we're talking about raw and organic with everything, right? right? right. We saw this trend starting several years ago. Uh, grocery stores yeah. started doing the organic section, right. which I thought was funny. Right. This is real food, <laughs> right? But and this is okay. Okay. This is not right. <laughs> All these years. Yeah, right. Right. I see the signs that say natural. Yes. Yeah, like, what? Okay, so the others did it. You were lying about it the whole time. We were out of right. it. Uh, but you could take, for instance, you know, if you go and you pick up a, a, a peach, because mm -hmm. we're in Georgia right now. So right. Peaches, you know. If you go and pick up a peach from a grocery store and you get up to the line, say you just want that one peach as a snack, right? Mm -hmm. So you take the peach and you put it up. And if it doesn't have a label on it, they have to find the code for it. Right. To put it into the system so that you can what? Right. Exchange, give yes. them currency for it. Uh -huh. Right. But if you were in a peach orchard, orchard you just pick it off the tree. Yes. Eat it, yes. Right? You still got it. But they label it right. to sell it. To sell it. That is so good. Yes. And that's what we do. Right. We label because it's good for business. Right. Wow. And that's it's huge. good for business. I can get, I can expect an exchange from you now because I'm selling this yeah. peach that you yeah. can get from anywhere. Right. If you just know where an orchard was, you can go get it. Right. right. So that's what labels are to me. Yeah. It's a construct of human beings trying to figure out how to manage the masses. Right. Which is what religion essentially is too. Yes. Nothing against anyone's religion. I don't have judgment of that either. No, I don't. Yeah. But it if you if you can see it as a construct. Right. You have an appreciation for a construct. We're sitting in a construct right now, and I have an appreciation for it. several reasons. There's a roof over our head, and there's an air-conditioned vent blowing right over right. 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 So that construct is serving well for yes. me at the moment. Yes. But I'm not going to serve the construct. Right. 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 Because at some point, I'm going to decide to leave mm -hmm. the construct. The same is true for any of those labels. And again, that's why I say I don't have a judgment of them. You can utilize them. Right. But the moment they utilize you. Right. The moment that's, that you're not managing it, but it's managing you. Absolutely. Now you become a slave. And so right. how much freedom do you want? Well, I feel like I'm a lot of freedom. Right. That's why I don't let, you know, I, I hold on to theology loosely. Because mm -hmm. it's theory. That's the root word of theology. Anyway. Theory. Right. I hold on to theory loosely. Right. And, and, and I hold on to spirit much more tightly. Yes. And that's simply because spirit has a tendency to all of a sudden take off. Yes. And I'm be tethered to you. Yes, not right. <laughs> wait, 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 yeah. yes. Absolutely. It's time to ski. It's time to get away. <laughs> right. But, it, but it, it's, it's a wonderful ride to be It on. is. Yeah. And when you trust it, when there's not fear in the ride, yeah. but you trust it, you know, no, no matter where you are, no matter what ride you're on, no matter, and you trust it, and that it's so much more enjoyable. Oh, There's yeah. no fear in it. Right. There's no like a roller coaster, whatever. It's you know, raise your hands up, scream, do whatever you do, enjoy the ride. If you know, it's the same. It's the same with spirit. It's and it's just, it's amazing. And thankfully, the universe knows. The universe knows mm. that 
roller coaster should only last about 60 seconds. Right. <laughs> That's why they call it an amusement park. Right. Because to amuse is to stop thinking. Right. Oh, wow. To okay. amuse is to think. Yes. But to amuse, amuse. is just like atheist. A theist is a believer in God. An atheist is a non-believer. That's cool. But to amuse, and so we call them amusement parks, exactly. is to stop thinking for a little while. It's to not be caught up in your work. Wow. But it's to unplug a minute and have fun. Right? There you go. But thankfully, the universe knows that a roller coaster doesn't need to last for six hours. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Right. Christmas is dinner. Is, you know, right. right. Exactly. You're done. Now, some people will say, well, that's not what happened to me. My life's been a roller coaster. Yeah, well, there's this thing called a line. Yes. That you don't have to get back in. Right, absolutely. Go to the bottom of cars. Absolutely. <laughs> Quit hogging the ride. Right, absolutely. I'm not responsible. Well, no, you're not to blame, but you are responsible. responsible. And yes, and place. you can choose to get on and get off anytime you want. Yeah. You know, you don't have to get back on the same ride. You can, like you said, yes. go, to the, go to the bumper cars, go do whatever. And that's so important is when you realize that you're creating your world. Mm with everything that you believe, everything that you say, through gratitude you create your world, and through, if you want to not do gratitude and go to the negative, you're creating that. What do you want to create? You are. And, and, yeah. and, and there's a sense of balance of both. Yes. You know, Dr. Bruce Lipton is one of my favorite um, teachers in neuroscience and, and biological um, cell research. Mm -hmm. um, and he says that inside of the cell, the inside is a negative post. And the outside is a positive post. And he said there's basically 50 trillion batteries in your body. Oh my gosh. Because they're negative and positive posts. Right. So you're not going to crank your car up in a few minutes without a negative and positive right. post. For people who are trying to cast out negative, they're essentially asking to be broke down. Right. It's being able to embrace it all. Yes. And see it all as in, a, in balance. Now, that doesn't mean that you don't try to think more positive. That's not what I mean. Right. I just mean you, you're able to see that that dark and light work together mm -hmm. and that there's really no such thing as pitch black darkness mm -hmm. complete darkness mm -hmm. that even in the darkness there's shards of light right that according to science you yes. know, we just can't see it with right the, with the human eye. but um i was good i was making a point with that i can well, where were we at we were talking about um yeah there's that uh, maybe that was all that was supposed to be said the ebb and flow and the balance of right the and the positive. right and that your body your body would not exist without, without some bacteria in it. Right. You yeah. have to. We talk about wanting to be, you know, completely whole and in our mind, that means all bad gone. But there's bacteria in your body that's working right now. Mm -hmm. And some of it's in conflict. And without that little bit of conflict, mm -hmm. your body would you would die. Right. You need that right. the ebb and flow. And so the same is true for life. Right. You know, you know it's it's not a bed of roses and if it was there's thorns and rose bushes so you know. right and it's and it's back to the even into the meditation it's um is and bishop swilly preached this the other day at church so i'm going to quote him and give him credit bishop joe swilly but he was talking about the inhale is thank you god that everything's going to be awesome or i put my attention out but i want this or i need this or whatever thank you for that that and Hold it, exhale, and even if that doesn't happen, everything's going to be amazing. Yes. Right? Awesome. Yes. Yes. It reminds me of Dr. Just... Dr. Dyer. He was, he was walking uh, um, on Maui, where he mm -hmm. moved to, and he was just walking in the downtown area, and a lady came up to him, and she said, are you Dr. Wayne Dyer? And he said, I am. And she said, well, what are you doing here? So oh, well, I love you. What? You do? Tony Robbins is over here doing a, a conference, would you come and, and speak? She happened to be on his Tony Robbins team. Right. And he said, well, if Tony wants me to speak, I'll come and share. Right. Just, here's my phone number, and if he wants me to speak, I'll come and share. Oh, I'm sure he would. He said, yeah, if he wants me to come, I'll come, yeah. Yeah. I'll come and share. So, sure enough, he gets a call from Tony Robbins' assistant and says, well, Tony would love for you to come and share one day this week if you want to, for just a few minutes, maybe 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And he said, well, if Tony wants me to come, then, um, then Tony will yes. come, you know, I'm more than happy to come. Finally, Tony does call and says, hey, you know, we come and share for minutes. And he says, yes. And, and he said, the reason I did that is because I don't need to say stuff anymore. Right. I want to make sure that this is really so, a genuine right. invitation. 
So he shows up, he and his wife, and uh, Tony's doing the whole show, you know, because mm-hmm. Tony Robbins shows. Yeah, they're like, phenomenal. You know, pyrotechnics and lights yes. and, you know, Superman, right. you expect Superman to show up. And, uh, and Wayne said it was just funny, you know, he was watching it and he said, you know, I don't want to judge him with that. He said, it's just not what I do. Right. But that's what he does. It's all hyped motivation. Yes. And that's fine. So finally, um, he was, Tony was talking, was saying something, and then a, a small chant started in the group. Wayne, 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 Wayne. So then Tony says, well, Dr. Wayne Dyer is here. So, hey, Dr. Dyer, will you come up and share? And so he came up and shared for a few minutes, and there's these closing comments. He said, I noticed y'all wearing t-shirts that say, if I can, I must. Hmm. So I will. And he said, I, love, I, 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 I kind of like this. Yeah. If I can, I must, so I will. So I like that. He said, I would add one line to it. If I can, I must, so I will. And if not, so what? Absolutely. <laughs> that was the end of that. I love like he said, it wasn't very popular. He said, because the idea that, you know, this pressure. Right. Right. It actually turns off the frontal cortex that creates Oh, does it? Wow. Stress does From that. The stress, and yes. And it causes the, the veins to contract and it causes the brain to have a lightning storm. Wow. And so a thunderstorm's okay to clear the air, but that's exactly what it's trying to do. Right. It's to clear the it's air. It's to clear the air. Because of the stress. If it doesn't happen, I'm still grateful. Right. Right. I don't need gotta do tricks. It's not right. it's not a slot machine, you know, or a right. you know, come on Jesus. Right. Or or a, or even a, a what do they call those machines? Convenience machines that have snack machines or whatever those are, you know. It's not one of those. Yeah, so you put yes. you put, you know, a dollar in and right. snack. Right. No, God's not that. That's not that. No. Mm-hmm. And we wouldn't want to do that. Mm-hmm. You know? So anyway, that's a, that's that on labels for me. I, I I just don't wear any. Right. He was, are you a Christian? And I hesitate um, because I, I don't, I don't know what someone means by that anymore. Right. You know. And most of the time, because I, you know, I was raised in a, a Christian family, and so, you know, parents are missionaries in South America when at a very young age, a grip on the Amazon, and so there, you know, I've, I've seen the Christian world in a in a lot of ways, and I, um, the labels that. The things that that comes with. If you are a bigot, or if you're judgmental, or if you're, you know, gossip or whatever, I'm I'm not that. Yeah. So if that's your definition of Christianity, then that's not me. Mm-hmm. I'm a truth seeker, mm-hmm. and I just want to find truth. And one truth that I know is that love wins. is it wins. Yeah. It does. It was one truth that I know. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I can put my trust in that. Yeah. You know, well, so you don't believe in Jesus. So, oh, absolutely. Dude. Yes. I think Jesus is amazing. Yes. Um, you know, or, well, so you're not a follower of Jesus. No, I'm a, yes. actually, I'm and a follower of Christ. Yes. Well, they're two different things. Don't even make me go there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Christ, not Jesus' last name. I mean, you know, that's, right. If you, want, if you want information on that, very fluent information, Father Richard Rorsch has been in a great book called okay. the, Universe, the Universe of Christ. Oh, my God. It's wow. Like, it's very good. But it, it's, you know, yeah, yes. I mean, and I had an individual just recently who did, they, they tried to push me to a corner and said, well, do, but, but, but do yeah. you believe that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh, born of a virgin, died on a cross to save you from your sins and rose from the dead on the third day and is coming back in power and glory? <laughs> and I said, we should get you a yes. TV and show. All right. Yeah, call the $1,800 praise. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I was, I'll spend on something to right. say. And we should give you because yeah. you just spelled that out. Yes. And I said, well, you know, I mean, I said, look, here's the thing. If we could go into measuring what it means to be a Christian. And if we do that, we're going to have to stand and step back before Roman Catholicism. Right. Like step back in Way the back. New yes. Testament where people weren't even called Christians. They were right. called people of the way. And we're now you're going to have to interview them before you can interview me. Right. Let's go back there where before people were called Christians. Right. The disciples of Jesus weren't, weren't Christians. called Christians until Antioch. Right. And, and the majority of them were dead before Antioch right. happened. So, you know, it's like... 
And Jesus wasn't even a Christian. Oh, no. so, you know, yeah. No. If you, Jesus came back and asked him if he was Christian, he'd go, no, like, I'm a Jew. Yes. <laughs> I'm a Jew. Yes. You know? Yeah. So, yes. yeah, again, those are all labels. They're all labels. You know? Well, are you a Buddhist because you wear my lot? No. No. I have a Buddhist monk friend who sent me this. Mm-hmm. Uh, and this helps to remind me of some principles of Buddhism that I love. Yes. Clearly. Things that the you The harmony mean. piece. The, yes. The love piece. The the being in the flow with the with nature mm-hmm. all of that's beautiful mm, it's, it's amazing it yes. just reminds me yeah does it make you a Buddhist does it nope. make you anything oh no it doesn't but those principles are worth holding yeah. on to and there's yeah. a lot about different religions that I could totally agree with oh absolutely it's just like wow really you know yeah. I remember Ubering a guy one time in Nashville and he was a I think you call him a sheik yeah a sheik and by the time I dropped him off at his destination, there was so much God in that car, I couldn't even drive. Mm. You know, it was just the, the conversation, the spirit just filled the room. It was amazing. And we weren't trying to convert each other. We were just talking about the same God. Yes. You yes. know. If you seek to converse rather than convert, yes. you end up in a in relationship yes. the way we were intended. Yes. And it's not a monologue, it's a dialogue. It's a, yes, yeah. absolutely. That's what so much religion has become about. Right. So it's one person's interpretation, you know, and they, you know, they apparently right. were kind of like, you know, uh, I guess Gabriel, the archangel, came down and showed them some scrolls and rolled mm-hmm. them back up before anybody else could see <laughs> This is how it is. Right. You know, whatever. You whatever. can I mean, share your experience, yes. but don't make any demands on them. Right. You know, that's like me going to Hawaii and uh, catching some really awesome waves. And so I take ocean water and put it into a bottle and come back come and sing yes. it. You're still not going to experience the waves. No, you'll, you'll taste salt and you'll feel wet. Right. Right. But right. what was the, the experience was for me. Right. When I realized that being born again, being a Christian, being a Buddhist, being a Muslim, being uh, a Hindu, whatever that was, right. I realized this is a personal thing. Yes. And that it's not my job to go and convert anyone to Right. Anything. Right. That was, that was freedom in that. So much freedom in that. Yeah. yeah. So, this so is the life know. I live now. I love it. No, I it's love freedom. that. And there is so much freedom. And you yeah. seem so peaceful and happy. And, there. and yes, there. I can tell. Yeah. I can it's tell. It's a wonderful thing. Thank you for letting me sit with you. I thank you for letting me sit with you. It was such a privilege. I appreciate that so much. So you want to say a closing remark? Well, I had a couple of little quotes that okay. I love uh, that I'll just share quick. I love time. that, yes. Alan Watts is one of my favorite um, philosophers from the 60s. And if you've ever had a chance to, to see any of his writings or hear any of his lectures, a lot of them are on YouTube. Okay. Alan Watts is great. He says, the only way to make sense out of change is to plunge into it move with it and join mm. the dance yes instead of pushing away from it as we yes. mentioned we go force and counter force and i love this one because i think this is what speaks to me a lot uh, as i move through life understanding that everything that comes comes to pass um heraclides said or Cletes, however you want to say that said no man ever steps into the same river twice for it's not the same it's river yes. and he's not the same man I love Isn't that. So no, that's so good. Yes. So you get to experience it over and over and over. over. And yes. That's, and that's really summates a lot of what I've wanted to talk about today. Right. Really, with love wins because I understand that it's an ebb and flow. Yes. And that no one knows enough about this life to be a pessimist. Right. You just don't know enough. Right. It's not over yet. So anyone who has lost something they thought was theirs forever finally comes to realize that nothing really belongs to them. Yes. You don't own anything. Yeah. So living without ownership, living a life that's free, when it comes into your hands, you're thankful. Yes. As long as it's there, you're thankful. Yes. And when it leaves you, you're thankful. The same is true to not be crude with um, feeding our bodies. You're thankful to be fed. But if you hold on to it, you'll become toxic. Right. You must let go. You have to. You must let go. Yes. And, if, and if the organism is not letting go, then the organism breaks down. Yes, it does. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. That was so awesome. So fun. I love you. Thank you.
you again for visiting my celebrated journey, Love Always Wins videos, where love in action is the source of all miracles. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell button for notification on new videos. Love y'all. Be the change you want to see in the world. Bye-bye now.